we are here at Embedded World. We're going to be talking about Ambic and we're going to be talking about how they've licensed technology from this company called Think Silicon. We're going to be talking to Uli about how he created a solution for them. Please tell us all about your relationship with Ambic. Thanks, Keith. So um, our relationship with Ambic goes really a long time back. You know, um, Ambic is known for their ultra low power technology, yes. for their SOCs, for their microcontrollers. You know, we are the specialists. You know, creating ultra low power GPUs, particularly for the field, for microcontrollers. You know, based on an Autos operating system. Right. So basically, we run into each other. Is that we speak the same language? You know, and this is what we do. So, right. so they started to um, license our technology, our GPUs, to integrate it in their SOCs. Right. So tell us just a little bit about the history, about how you decided how low-power GPU, GPUs was going to be the future. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. So it's about it's a little bit more than 10 years ago, so uh, when uh, the first tech words like Internet of Things come up, yep. you know, and uh, and we even seen the first... And at uh, that time, sorry to interrupt you, but at that time, no one was talking about the Internet of Things, no one was talking about wearables, no one was talking about edge computing, but you made a bet on... We low did power. bet, yeah. We did a bet on low power, ultra low power, because, because what we've seen, you know, mobile phones were already hot, you know, smartphones were hot. We've seen these beautiful graphics, and what they did was just natural in our industry when this IoT and Internet of Things came up. So when the displays become smaller, you know, they downscaled the GPUs and brought it into the small systems. The problem was it wasn't optimized for the small systems. The problem is you're running out of battery lifetime Absolutely. too fast, you know. You're so burning. You're burning battery. Every that's Thanks. correct. That's correct. So we said that is probably the thing for the future, you know, we need to take care, you know. There is no GPU in the market, you know, which has been built from bottom up, particularly addressing this kind, hopefully in that time, upcoming new markets, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, that was about the same time, you know, when Ambic also um, become established, you know, as a company, you know, getting founded and and um, how it is, we, we run into each other, introduced, you know, from business contacts, you know, and again, as I said already, we talk the same language. Okay. And, uh, so just happened. tell us a little bit now about how they, how, what, what, what technology they're actually licensing from you yep. and how that helps them come to market and come into the wearable market yep. and maximize their low power. Yeah. So, um, the technology they license is a graphic processing unit, you know. Yep. Uh, we started with a 2D, also a two-dimensional uh, unit, and a display processor. Right. And so what is unique with that, unique with that, so we created, you know, not just the architecture for the chip for that, we created also the entire graphics library application interface around. Right. The problem with graphics is, you know, graphics by itself doesn't run, you know. No chip runs or no technology runs by itself. You need to program it. So we created indeed our own API with drivers and everything around and make it easy to program, you know. And that is the really a breakthrough part, yeah. And um, so and this is also what Ambic realized, you know, oh we because they were not in that field, you know, so that when you can provide something to their customers, you know, which is easy to use and integrate, yeah, then we likely, you know, also, you know, we have uh, more success, you know, and our ex extend our footprint with that customer. You know? Right, right. So, the first step was, of course, you know, evaluating our IP. Does it fit into this system? Uh, there's always, we know, in engineering, there's never enough resources, never enough memory, never enough bandwidth, never enough frames per second. Never, never. So, together with Ambic, we really modify that, you know, and really uh, find a way to squeeze this in, you know, in the tiny SOC yep. with a minimum of memory, which was on the one megabyte, you know, on right. chip, yeah. But that all comes from your original heritage of betting on low power. Yes. Right. Yeah. And low power, what means low power? Low power is, it has many aspects, you know, so uh, low power, of course, the processor by itself consumes power. So our target was, you know, to create a processor which consumes not more than one milliwatt, you know, one. That's not a lot of power. It's not a lot of the power, you know, active power, you know, but a system 
consumes more than just you know the, the processor. You have memories, you have interfaces, you know, there's always something going on, yeah. And the most power has been consumed among a display, if you have a display, is the memory transfers, you know. So we created our own propriety compression schemes where we going and compress the graphic assets and when you need it, you know, they been called up again, you know, and uh, been displayed, yeah. And uh, of course, if you compress a graphics image, yeah, and make it very small, you know, you, you don't need a lot of memory space. Therefore, you limited the memory transfers between the processor, you know, and the display. Right. So that is our secret sauce, basically. Very good, very good. And these are some of the, some, some of the examples here that you, you're working with them. So just could you just talk us through these? Absolutely. So what we're seeing here is the current uh, Apollo 4 Plus from, uh, from uh, Ambic. And inside here is our NEMA Pico XL. Uh, GPU and our NEMA DC display controller. So we have a four-layer display controller and we have uh, a 2.5D GPU. So what is 2.5D? So yeah, we, we have a, I mean, a 2 or a 3D, you know. So, so we found a way to basically what's called um, a corrective, uh, 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 corrective uh, projection uh, to display almost a 3D model, you know, without really utilizing the entire power, you know, which you need, what's going, what's behind on the framework, yeah. So that is uh, certainly an absolute uh, was an absolute breakthrough, you know, to bring this in, you know, and you see here uh, how smooth the whole system works here. These are all the same boards, you know. Another very uh, important uh, a feature into it is uh, something like maps, you know, you know, for example, if you support map, su map support, you know, because you have it on your smartwatch, you're running, yep. you know, yep. your Google yep. Maps, whatever on your here is now, you know, that has is smoothly becoming displayed here, you know. And uh, what else we see here, um, it's not our, uh, there's other APIs out in the world now, the graphic libraries, uh, which are open source, and uh, we are supportive of the open source world. And so there's something called LVGL, Little Vector Graphics Library, uh, which is an open source project, you find it on GitHub, yeah. And uh, it becomes so popular, you know, in the engineering and in the in the uh, commun in the community, yeah, um, that we, uh, that they were asking so, how we can make more out of it, you know? And we said, listen, I think this is a great thing for us. We're going to accelerate with our hardware, with our GPU, this just, little bit of library. Just let me ask you a question, because obviously the, the, the reason for having this discussion yeah. is to understand the relationship between you and Ambic. When, when, you, when you first decided on this big decision about GPUs and this big decision about IoT, did you ever foresee that you were going to be embedded in products like this doing things like maps on a wearable? Um, I would say uh, we, 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 we've foreseen certain things where it's going to go, you know, that's for sure, you know. And the reason why is not that we are um, having indeed a crystal ball, we don't. But we solely believe because the people in that time were so so uh, uh, already so adapted to their smartphones to the touch screen and everything what they learned you know on the smartphone they want to see on any other display device right. so you made the intuitive decision yes. to see how the user was using smartphones correct to say, yeah that's going to transfer it into the wearable market yes that's going to tra transfer it into which is going to going to need low power. Yeah, exactly. Battery absolutely. life is going to be everything on devices like this. Power is absolutely everything. You know, battery life, of course, this is the most the most obvious one, but even if you have a connected, and I mean connected on a, on a on a power source, you know, low power is very important. So let's say you can even you, you can use this on a on a smart thermostat. You know, we know them meanwhile yeah. all, yeah. you know, or an e-bike, you know, where you have a display in front of you, yeah. you know. E-bike has a battery again, you know, but a thermostat not, you know, it's connected somehow on a on a power source. However, what we never like in our industry, warm is not good, you know. So, so low power plays anywhere and everywhere a big, big role. You know? right. That is what. So, yeah, certain things we foreseen was that okay, the user wants to have the same experience. It needs to be swift. It needs to be quick. It needs to be seamless. It needs to be vibrant. And no matter on the smartphone, on the thermostat, on a smartwatch, whatever small display device, it's beyond driven. You know. Right. Right. So, I mean, in summary, what we're talking about is your decision to go low power, graphics orientated, their decision, low power, wearables, 
the experience coming from smart devices coming together to create devices like that is a great partnership. It's a, it's a very good partnership, you know, we really uh, appreciate, I mean, they're not their customer, you know, from us, you know, and uh, we appreciate, of course, you know, customer, but it's it's even more, you know, it's it's a it's a partnership because um, what does partnership mean? Yes, there's a customer, but we basically bouncing ideas on each other off, you know, um, so they learn from us, we learn from them, you know, and they, yeah. um, very grateful to be honest, you know, that and a company like Ambic um, let us in in uh, their ecosystem and they are in their partner world, you know. Yeah. Uh, it has a lot to do with trust, you know, and respect, of course, you know, yeah. uh, we have yeah. it to each yeah. other. Well, it's very interesting, to, very, very interesting to talk to you because obviously when you think about GPUs, you think about power hungry, thirsty, graphic rich. Yes. And then you've married that together with Ambic to create devices like That's this correct, yeah. that are low power, but still very attractive and very adaptable. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, that's a very good point, Gay, you know, because usually when we're thinking about GPUs, we're thinking about the big powerhouses, the NVIDIAs heat. and the AMDs, you know, and heat, you know, and you need big, big fans, you know, and, yeah. and whatever, uh, water-cooled PCs and so on. And these are great GPUs, don't get me wrong, you know, absolutely fantastic, you know, and they gonna push the limits, you but know. They're not gonna work in there. This is they? not at all, you know, <laughs> what we're having here, you know. Yeah. We're coming yeah. the other way around, we say, no, 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 no. We're gonna go down with the frequencies, you know, yeah, yeah. more higher frequency means also more heat, you know, yeah. more power, you know. Yeah. So we're coming the other way around and it was kind of also an interesting process. We had to retrain actually the people we're talking to because they came, even their specialists in the industry and engineers, they were thinking different. They're coming, oh, well, I need a lot of frequency. I need a lot of clock cycles, you know. I need a lot of frames per second. So, no, 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 it's uh, let's, let's come in from a content base, what you really want to display, and adjusting it, you know, to it. So yeah. it's a, yeah. and this is why I am big again, you know, with their overall way, how they approach things, you know, as well, uh, is such a good fit, you know. Very good. Very good. Well, Oli, that's a really, really good introduction to how you've taken GPU technology, how you take a big bet on seeing how mobile phone technology yep. was going to get smaller, lower power, but still give that kind of graphic interface into the future. Yes, absolutely. So let's move a little bit over here, you know, where the future is, and it's the current future. And we are absolutely proud and thrilled, you know, to again being a part of this project from Ambig, you know. So this is the latest, you know, Apollo 5, 10, you know, what we're seeing here. And you see this stunning graphics on That's it. It's mad. It's, it's unbelievable, isn't That's it? Mad. You, know, you know, it is really yeah. crazy what's going on and the flying. I, it's amazing. And so there we have our latest and upgrade basically from the cheap. Yeah. we've seen before and this is driven by our latest NEMA Pico Vici XL1000 vector graphics GPU. So it has a vector graphics extension. So rasterizer and vector graphics in one GPU, you know, and it gives the user and uh, the, the, the possibility to choose, you know, whatever content it needs to be accelerated, you know, using the one or the other unit, you know. And this is the result, you know. It's unbelievable fast, vibrant, you know, and um, uh, uh, this is a, is so a number one product. Is this using the same level of power that that is, but delivering that level of graphics? Um, here's the interesting part: it uses even less. It you loses know. less. Yeah, even less. You know, right. that is the. So we'll get a close up of that, so you can see how dynamic that is. Yes. In terms absolutely. of absolutely. In terms of what that's delivering. Yes, absolutely. This is. It's. Uh, in, I mean, it's. Uh, we know in technology, it's always never. It's, it's, it's kind of an evolutionary process uh, we, we 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 have here, you know. And here we found a way to balance, you know, the system resources, you know, and the uh, and 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 uh, and uh, the, the the core processor resources. So I give you here a number which is quite impressive, you know. What you see here right now, you know, and the acceleration, what happens when the GPU. You just now utilize less than 5% of the microcontroller in it, of its performing power, which can rest or did do any other things in the background, you know, just under 5% from the entire processing power, you know, has been used. The rest has been executed on the GPU, you know. 
And uh, so this brings us really to uh, this brings us to a, a power consumption overall, you know, which is uh, still the core processor is two milliwatts, you know, but the overall system, you know, power consumption we're bringing down, you know, with that, you know. So right. that is right. that is the real benefit here, you know. Right. Is there anything even close to that in the market? Um, not that I know. I mean, we have a competition too, you know. So, but at the moment, I would say we spearheading, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, graphics acceleration on uh, in the microcontroller world, you know, and uh, based on a real-time operating system. Yeah. So we yeah. certainly hear uh, spearheading that, you know, okay. at the moment, you know. So for the sake of this video, we will get a close-up of what's going on there. So just 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 reiterate. 5%. 5%. And just reiterate the power side? The power side, we are, the, the core by itself is just 2 milliwatt, you know, yeah, you know. Right. So that's, that's uh, quite impressive. And, and again, we all, I think, more or less, we all have an experience with a, with a smartwatch, for example, you know. And the most annoying part is, oh my God, where's my, I mean, we all, also with smartphones, where, where, where's my plug-in? Where, oh my God, yeah. I'm running out. End of yep. the day, I'm running. The versus is really for the, for the sport people, you know, which really doing longer exercises, uh, the cyclists, you know, which are hours on the road, yeah. you know. And all of a sudden, you're running out of power, you know. This is a very annoying situation, yeah. So we can, ex we extend it here with this the battery life overall of the system from one day once, you know, to over two weeks, you know. One day, and two still weeks. Delivering, still delivering, still that. delivering exactly. that level exactly. of graphics. Exactly. Wow. Um, I mean, that's an order of magnitude, you know. Right. I was so I think, I think that's the beginning of this video. From one day to two weeks. Exactly. One day two to weeks. two weeks, delivering that level of graphics. Yes. Exactly. Mind blowing. It is. It is. It is. So and and, and um, but also the, the entire system. Uh, it's very smart designed, you know, on the side of Ambeg, you know. Uh, it has so many use cases, not just smartwatches, you know. It can be used really in other applications as well. Whether it's a vending machine, you know, yeah. um, a, a, a coffee maker with its fancy touch screens, you know, um, thermostats I mentioned already. There's so many possibilities. Uh, washing machines, you know. Every appliance is meanwhile has a display, you know. Yeah. Very good, Uli. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great, great talk. Great to meet you. Lovely to find about this Ambic part and what you've done with the graphics and the low power. Thank you very much, Guy. It was a pleasure. One day to two weeks. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you.